Hey there. I was asking a question to kind of myself, I guess. Uh, can music foster communication within organizations? Now, as some of you may know, I teach marketing management as an adjunct professor at Trinity Christian College. And as a final project, the students are working together in four different uh, work groups to develop marketing plans, which they will present to the whole class. Now, working in class, I observed very little interaction happening within the different work groups. In fact, the room was full of eerily and uncomfortable silence. And when I floated by to check on progress, the students didn't even engage in conversation with each other, nor really hardly with me. Then I turned on my Pandora subscription and began playing some instrumental jazz uh, music on the radio channel that I created a while back. And before the end, of the end of the first song, the energy of the room completely changed. Conversations began and the room was filled with both John Coltrane solos and with chatter about marketing. Well, science supports this phenomenon. Background music, especially within a major tonality, uh, has been observed to improve communication, satisfaction, and productivity. And furthermore, combining music and arranging indoor spaces to facilitate social interactions uh, can positively emo uh, influence emotions. And, um, and that's been observed within a study of college students fairly recently in uh, 2021. Perhaps none of this should really come as too much of a surprise given that restaurants and retail settings plus sports venues often use background music for positive affect. So while it may not work in all cases, maybe sometimes consider leveraging music to facilitate social interactions at work for more harmonious workplaces.